Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I've got a bit of a sculpture piece now. I actually have filmed the process of, I have actually filmed the process of myself making this and I've actually prepared those videos for when I'm moving kind of towards the end of the process but I wanted to show the process of this and show you how much I've gotten up to because at the moment I'm just staring at it and I need to be able to just talk out loud about it and just start carving away at it because at the moment it's not doing anything for me I've just decided to put it all together so without further ado I'm going to show you what I'm making or what the hell I'm on about and then you can decide maybe some ideas might pop it up it is this this is a combination of one two four five six six plaster sculptures which have mixed media pieces in and are filled with leftover skins as well. I chose plaster because it's a very good versatile material to use and it's quite soft to carve out of so I was thinking maybe I just start carving something out of it or making it into some sort of sculpture piece that I have no idea about. Originally I was trying to go for not just a normal plaster colour but actually like black or blue and this is what I've got so far. So I've managed to attach them all by slotting plaster down the ridges to be able to keep them all together. For some reason I like it, <laughs> but another reason I'm just a bit like, mm, there's something missing from it. So that's the bottom as well. You can see that purple is the sculpture pieces, uh, the, the mixed media pieces we've got filling it up was so much fun <laughs> it was really difficult i was just like oh my god how am i meant to be able to do this so what i'm gonna do all oh, the top piece as well um i had all these little bits of carving the out bits that i just threw into the silicone and then poured on top and this is what's basically come about it so for this i'm just gonna try and well carve out of it and go from there really because I don't know what stage I'm at. I don't know how to progress on further. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm trying to think of a tool that I could use because it's not, it's gonna be something that's gonna, oh, actually this might work. Glass is quite easy to carve out. It's not taking chunks out, but it's doing something so. Another one. Is that better? No, it's not better. I do have a scalpel, but I don't want to use it because last time I used it, it kind of just broke and flipped up near my eye, and I kind of freaked out. trying to think that's not really carving much of the surface away I think I might have to use a scalpel for this. This carves a lot easier. Oh yeah, that's like way easier.
Something tells me we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> I think I will put a limit on this of how much carving I can do into one video though. How is everyone anyway? Um, I'm doing okay doing a lot better than I have been in the last few weeks. I'm just still stressed out about the house. But I think it's one of those things where you have to be kind of honest of how you feel. Because if you don't, before you know it, you're on the floor. A bit like heat stroke. Um, not to say any of med not to compare mental health to heat stroke, but <laughs> If I were to compare it to anything else, it would be that. brush all of the bits of It's like excavating, is it? Is that the right word? Excavating? So incredibly therapeutic though. I have to brush all the little bits out because you end up not carving away the wrong parts. Obviously when you're taking stuff away from a sculpture piece that's the last thing you want because it's very hard, well you can't even add to it unless it's like plaster obviously. I'm getting like Tomb Raider vibes when I'm doing this. It's actually something I wanted to do when I was younger, be an archaeologist. Because I remember going up to my teacher and she was like, what do you want to do when you're older? And I'm like, an archaeologist. She's like, you passed me the ditch route, don't know how to spell that. <laughs>
hope you're ready for this uh, long process. <laughs> but it keeps me company. I get to talk out loud. The top layer is really soft. Ah, so, I have an advent calendar. I don't know if anyone else has got one because, you know, they're more for, like, kids. <laughs> but I've got a tea one. And it's all Twining's tea and each day, every day is different fruity tea. And today I've got, like, a lemongrass one. But when I put the hot water in, it was, like, bright red. And I was kind of expecting it to be green. And I was like, whoa, this has caught me a bit off guard. <laughs> but it was proper cool. Also learn the hard way to keep my tea away from my desk when I'm doing things like this because you don't want plaster in your tea. It doesn't taste very nice. I actually have a work due tomorrow because I'm in a nine and a half hour shift. Don't know whether or not I want to go yet. Um, I was planning to go, but I've got so much to do. I mean, I really haven't made much of a dent in this.
So I'm going to leave this here because this is going to take me a long while. Don't worry, I'll bring you along for more videos like this because I thoroughly enjoy them and it's going to take me a while. So it'd be nice to have a chat with someone whilst I'm carving away at this one and trying to figure out what the hell I'm, I'm, I want to do. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Don't forget to check out my links in my de description box for my social medias. There's also my eBay selling account, which is where you'll find all my artworks that I feature on my channel, a couple of, plus a couple of extras. If you'd like to make a donation, there's a link in my description box to PayPal. If you can't do that, don't worry about it. Um, please just like and subscribe because it helps me out in, in the long run. And I shall see you guys tomorrow. Bye.